Hey buds, uh, another compost box update. I'm about to mow the lawn, which means I'm gonna throw a bunch of greens in here, the clippings, and then browns on top of it afterwards. And um, that's gonna kind of hide what's been happening in the last week or so in the compost box. So I figured this was a good time to do a short update video. So let's do it. So we're just under 110 right now. I'm gonna pull the thermometer and let's dive in here so the first thing that I looked at this morning was you can see this kind of white line right here that's where the pile was seven days ago so it's dropped a good five or six inches in a week which is insane um, and I think it has a lot to do with the mushroom so even Right here on top, you can see mycelium breaking through. Um, our most recent oyster addition is right here. And you can see, sure enough, it put out mycelium before it rotted. And I think I let it get a little too hot and it started completely de decomposing, but not before it was able to put off some mycelium. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna leave that little spot somewhat undisturbed for now, but I kind of want to dig in here a little bit and see what's happening. So show you guys. So right here in this layer, where you can see it's super white, I took that rice that I uh, used for the soil bacteria water and uh, Put it in the compost after just letting it soak for seven days in the fridge because I figured it would pull some bacteria but not have insane growth and then that would increase my bacterial load in my compost pile and um, turns out the mushrooms are loving it they like went straight for that and then below that you can see we've got a layer of green grass or mostly green grass still can see the spores popping off. Man, that's wild. It looks like a spider web. But that's just all mycelium. Um, right here we've got a block. I believe that's the coral tooth. So I'll just go ahead and kind of cover that back up. And let's pull, let's pull out of this corner. Let's see what's going on. Okay, yeah, so here's the rice layer that really thick white layer right there and there's the grass underneath it yeah look at all of that yeah so this is a heavy fungal load compost pile as we get deeper down in there you can see that that's like probably two weeks old and that those browns are already turning black breaking down and palm uh, bark is already super soft this is really cool wow okay so I just ripped up a whole bunch from inside and it might be hard to see but I can literally see spores floating off into the air. Um, it's pretty gnarly. It smells like fungus. But yeah, it's super black and dark. There you go. You can see some of the spores and steam coming off of there. So yeah, it's, it's working. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure if I can see any like evidence of competition between the different fungal species it seems like it's just one solid layer of mycelium so that's that's that but yeah I thought it was cool because it had sunk so much in such a short period of time and um, I think watering it helped it like become super active I kind of let it go dry there for a little while just to see how it react and it definitely slowed down the compression of everything um, so yeah I'm gonna go mow the lawn throw some greens on top of here 
and then some more shredded cardboard on top of that and then I keep the shredded cardboard on top because I've been um, putting urine on this because it's high in nitrogen and I want the browns to soak up as much nitrogen as possible. I probably use more browns than uh, other folks do and that's because I don't want to lose nitrogen into the ground. I want the heavy brown content and somewhat dry uh, composition to retain the leche, not leak it off. So yeah, compost box today. Thanks for stopping by friends. Boop, see you in the next one. Okay, so a couple of things I forgot to mention about my compost box. Um, I've been putting drywall, like dry drywall mud bits into the compost bin because I heard Paul Stamets talk about how morals like moral mushrooms like drywall. You can um, inoculate dry, they will like grow into it if they, if the drywall is like left on the ground and, and you can uh, introduce the mushrooms to the drywall, it'll grow. So I've been experimenting with that and I started small at first. I just put like a couple little bits in there um, and the mushrooms went for it. So I've kind of just been doing the same thing with each layer, just like little crumbles of drywall on top. And um, also when I am scooping up the dog poop, which I know like using dog poop in my compost, Compoops. <laughs> um, when I scoop it up, I'm picking up rocks and soil and stuff, and that goes into the compost. And then I'm also inoculating it with leftover soil from bags, mushroom compost from like the nursery, and regular uh, compost from the nursery to kind of try to just really get as much biodiversity as possible into my compost, but also to round out the nutrient um, availability or whatever you would like to call it of the compost because <clears throat> I watched a Diego Footer video recently and he talked about how compost is really lacking in um, minerals and it isn't a whole soil solution and his video that he did on cucumbers grown in um, different thicknesses of compost really kind of did a good job in my opinion of illuminating that. So I'm trying to create something for myself that is checking off as many of the boxes as possible. Um, and really it's, I don't think I can fail at this point, like the compost mushrooms are loving it they're like just annihilating that stuff in there and turning it into um, something else I think pretty soon once it stops being a hundred plus in Phoenix I'm gonna create this bed on the contaminated area of soil and uh, begin with mushroom cleanup project before I sign off today and um, I just wanted to Show you guys these crazy ass basil plants that we've got going um, and then I have like a seven foot asparagus shoot right here and um, behind me you can see some done corns and there's just a little bit of green left I've been leaving them in the ground to kind of just do as much good for the soil as possible I'm gonna cut them off at the base today tie them up with some string and stick them up out by our Halloween scarecrows in the front of the house for just a little added effect and I thought that was be a great extra use for them before they make it themselves into the compost so yeah having fun in the garden today hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you later <laughs>